Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Odd Taxi episode number 13 and this is the final episode of Odd Taxi. Now, um, the previous episode, a lot of things happened. Uh, first of all, the bank robbery, it went well in, like, you know, like in, in, in the sense that Dobu's plan worked out pretty good and then Odukawa was able to kind of uh, get everything done and was able to I don't know like like Odukawa's own plan also worked out in a way and Tanaka has been dealt with even though Tanaka shot Dobu and Dobu was like bleeding out on the like you know in the middle of the street and hopefully the ambulance will come and pick him up and probably the police will also catch him so hopefully because I don't want him to die he he's He's a, you know, like a criminal, a bad character, but like, like looking at him from his personality and everything, he seemed like a nice guy, even though he abused and like, you know, mistreated Shirakawa, like that's a bad thing that he did, but still like, you know, he doesn't deserve death. He deserves punishment. So yeah, I hope he doesn't die. He just like, you know, like the ambulance takes him and the police captures him. That's what he deserves. And I also hope Yano gets captured as well because yeah, I think the most terrifying person in this anime is Yano, in my opinion. You know, so I want I, I hope he gets captured. Now he's uh, following uh, Odokawa. Hopefully nothing happens. Like I I don't trust Yano. You know, like I, I I I don't trust him. Like he might just pull out a gun and shoot him or something. Like he seems like a person like that. So I don't trust him. Like if I I trusted Dou quite a bit, but not Yano. Nope. <laughs> yeah he's scary so <clears throat> hopefully and diamond and his younger diamond and the older diamond kind of talked you know with each other came into a like you know uh like, you know their own discussion and everything their own past and all they kind of talked about it and now they're going to capture yano so yeah these are the things that are happening so, let's see hopefully this has a happy ending i want that I want Odokawa to be happy. He he's probably like the best character in this series, Odokawa. I really like him a lot. So yeah. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number thirteen of Odd Taxi. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Where to? Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. Oof. Yeah, this is scary. Oh, Goriki and what is that? Is this Odokawa's diary or something? Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Wait a minute, these are humans. Wait, what's happening? Walrus. Wait a minute. Is this like. Oh my god! I realized something! I'm still not sure about it, but I feel like... I 
I'm realizing something after. I'm still not sure. Cards. Oh. Oh, Azure. Okay. Oh my god. Damn, some messed up past. Hiroshi. Okay, I'm realizing something. Still not sure, but... Is this like something in his head? You know the synesthesia? Yeah, so, oh my god, yeah, oh. This is all in his head. Every, all the animal, okay, I realize that now. This, I think it's somehow related to synesthesia or whatever. The problem in his head. My god, this is like one of the biggest twists I've ever... Oh my god, this is the homo sapiens. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. It's on the news. Wait, so... Okay, thank god everyone knows that Otokawa is there. Oh boy! Oh no! Okay, what happened to them? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sure he'll listen. Oh yeah, this thing. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, this girl as well. Super rich. Oh my god. Like everyone has like their Oh an eighty. Poor guy. Oh my god. Ah. 
Oh no, I'm getting a bad feeling. Please don't kill Odokawa or something. Whoa! Oh god, he's... Kaba Saba. 104. <sighs> well... So unsteady. Oh my god! Ugh. Yeah, like what is it actually? It's called Visual Agnosia. Oh my god, here we go! Chemistry's brain gone. Yeah, here we go. My god, the first... I, I realized that in this, the first, like, you know, in, in this episode when they told us that, like, I want to be a walrus. I was like, what? And then there's, like, human silhouettes. Oh my god, there's so many... My god, what is happening? Like, there's like... Oh! Yo, stop! 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 Oh my god! Oh no, the accident! Oh no! No! What the? <laughs> the money. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, this is going to go viral or something. Oh. Wow, everyone's watching this. My god, everyone is... <laughs> Come on, Otakawa! Get out! Oh my god. Someone go help him! What the hell? Whoa. Wait, it's floating. What? Wait, what's? No, no, it's not. What's happening? Oh, it's getting the water is getting in the car. I remember being happy. Oh, blaster dead in my car. That's the mom. Oh. So did the mom really like try to suicide like with all with the whole family? Yeah, I think so. Like the mom. Oh my god. He didn't even know know that. God. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. This is where it happens.
Oh, this is the boss, isn't it? Oh no. This is the orphanage. But he later met him again in the bath, uh, in the sauna. Come on! Oh, oh my god, it's... Whoa! Shirakawa! What the hell? <laughs> Thank god! It's, it's actually really difficult to open doors underwater, like, you know, the air pressure. And I, I don't actually know what happens, but... Yeah, you're... <laughs> Yeah, what are they do? Oh god! Damn, Shirakawa! Completely! Like if, even in that episode, he, she saved him like two times, that means. Oh my god, here we go! Is there actual human... Wow, my god, this is mind blowing. What is this? A gorilla. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, human. Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, she ne he never saw their faces. Wow, such a what a twist! I was not expecting that. What the? Like, never in my wildest dream would I ever expect this. Like, God. Okay, who is this? Is this Dobu? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> Whoa. Oh yeah, it was him. <laughs> okay, who's this? Oh, this is Shira. Oh, she, she hurt her leg. Oh. Liano. Wow, looking at their human faces is really weird. What? Yeah, true. Oh, this is Imai, isn't it? <laughs> I, I recognize him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Damn, it's positive. Yeah. Oh my god, whoa. 
Damn, that's a lot of money. <laughs> oh, the no new taxi. <laughs> new taxi. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'm sure he's going to use it on his taxi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I never thought of some. Okay, okay, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's the boss. Is his memory back? Oh, oh, that's a cat, I'm sure of it. I'm very much sure of it. That's a cat, and not an ordinary cat. And the opening itself kind of shows us. <laughs> this is a homo sapiens, aren't they? Yeah. Yama Biko. Oh, this is the, the lady of the, the Okami. Oh, the tap. There you go, the boss. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. Oh, okay. Yeah. True. Yeah. Wait a minute, who killed me that Nice. Really great of him. I thought he was going to buy a new taxi or something, but that's the auto car we know, you know. Okay. What's in the closet? I'm sure it's a cat. There you go. <laughs> the opening itself shows us that, like, you know? Oh my god! Oh, this is uh, the, the girl. Sakura, I think that's what's her name? Oh my god! What?
Wow, you... Yo! Oh, that's edgy. Nice, he's, he's working, an honest work. <laughs> Joe was in jail. I'm having a bad feeling about this. Oh my god, come on, what is this? <laughs> wait, 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 what? What? <laughs> what? What was that supposed to be? I don't know whether to laugh, whether to feel concerned, like... Yeah, this, okay. You know what? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, oh, just a sec. Oh my God. Okay. Um, this episode the, uh, I don't know where to start first of all the the scene where we see uh, you know Odokawa kind of reminiscing uh, the silhouettes first of all that's when it really bothered me that's the first time we actually saw humans in this show I was like what's happening here like with this, these silhouettes, these are all human silhouettes. So we've never seen any human in this show up until now. I was, I was like, are they going to like introduce humans now? Like this is the last episode. Like what's even happening? And you know, like then he started saying stuff like they say I'm a walrus. They laugh at me. They bully me. You know, all that stuff. And he says that I like, like you know, I, I really love the zoos. I wanted to go to zoos. My dad used to take me to a zoo and you know leave me there. <laughs> and but I love the zoo, that's why I didn't mind all that stuff. He didn't want to talk to people, he wanted to talk to animals. I started like you know, I I, I really wasn't able to pinpoint what the hell was happening. But then when they like he says that I you know like I want to be a walrus or something, he said something like that. Yeah. That's when I realized that, okay, like this is somehow related to his uh, illness, you know, the problem that he has in his brain. Uh, I tell you it's synesthesia, but it's technically not synesthesia, that means it's something else. And uh, the, the, the thing that, he, uh, the, uh, you know, they kind of said the uh, actual name of the disease later on. What was it? Uh, visual agnosia or something? Just a sec. Uh, where is that section? I can't find it. It was something like that, I think. Let me just check. Uh, visual. Visual agnosia, yeah. Okay, what is that actually? Let me just check. Visual agnosia is defined as a disorder of recognition confined to the visual realm. It's 
<coughs> in which a patient cannot arrive at the meaning of some or all categories of previously known non-verbal visual stimuli despite normal or near normal visual perception and intact alertness attention intelligence and language okay cannot arrive to the meaning of some or all categories of previous known non-verbal visual stimuli he wasn't able to actually understand you know that means uh, like he was able to see them he was unable to recognize them properly and he kind of saw these animals and that was like the biggest what can i say like twist of i don't know like i never even expected it like you know like i was expecting this is like a story where all these like you know this is like anthropomorphic animals they are like you know we're going to see them like bee stars i thought yeah this is like bee stars you know like this is like a society for animals there something like that never did it even cross my mind that something like this might happen it was, it was really well done like this episode when they actually gave us hints that's when i actually realized all these episodes this 11 episodes no 12 episodes it didn't even cross my mind like that's a good way that they were able to conceal this whole thing they never even gave us any kind of slip up or not slip up but they never gave us any kind of hint that something like this is actually happening you know like I knew about the synesthesia, but I thought it was something related to, uh, you know, like seeing, uh, you know, seeing uh, sound and uh, hearing colors, you know, the whole thing, like actually not unable to. I think it was something like that he was having. That was his problem. But it was not at the actual problem. The actual problem was something else. This was the actual problem. So we've been seeing everything from Odokawa's perspective in a way. It was shown and as soon as Odokawa, you know, realized what was happening, it's like, I think it was like a mental disorder, I think, uh, realized he started seeing everything properly again, you know, after the whole uh, car thing, the car when it was drowning, after it drowned. And it was really, what can I say, interesting to see all the different characters here in their, uh, you know, actual, like, you know, the human faces. Now one thing you know like we see here like all the characters what they were you know what their motivations were in a way like you know the the girl i think that girl's name was shiho just a sec i forgot the names just, let me just the the girl who did the badger game she, she did not do it but i'm, I'm saying that she was the main one shiho yes shiho Shiho, you know, like her problem was like, you know, she wanted to be rich, you know, uh, her friends kind of like, you know, made fun of her and all that stuff. That's why. Uh, and then Sakura's part, like, damn, I never even thought that it was actually Sakura. Like, no, I think I mentioned this, didn't I? But in that episode, I, I kind of like started suspecting each and every character in this show. I was like, yeah, you might be the criminal. You might be the criminal. <laughs> I, was some, I was doing something like that. So <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count at all. Like I was basically pointing my fingers at I was suspectful of each and every character other than the characters who were not at all involved in this, you know. So I was even suspectful of Shiho. I was successful, uh, suspectful of Sakura, you know. I was suspectful of Yamamoto as well, like each and every character I was suspectful on. So, <laughs> yeah, but you know, like, uh, like, Sakura's the whole thing was she, you know, she was also like, you know, poor as well. And, but her mom had to like, you know, do so many things for her, like, not for her, but for the family. And she was tired all like, you know, like doing the job and then coming back doing the household work and stuff. So that was probably her main motivation, like do whatever it takes to make your dreams come true. And yeah, she took that a bit too literally, do whatever it takes. And, you know, and we see that Tanaka was actually trying to kill him, himself. But all these characters after seeing the, uh, the taxi, you know, drop into the ocean. Oh, Kawasawa as well. Kawasawa kind of <laughs> got his viral moment, I guess, that at that time. And okay, 
to see it drop into the ocean. And I'm guessing that's the time when he actually remembered everything, Odokawa. You know, that flashback came in in his head. You know, the flashback of the accident. And so what actually happened about the mom and the dad? So I think that it was really true. Like, the, you know, in the newspaper article, it was written that the mom committed, uh, not the mom, but they, like, you know, the, the parents, they tried to commit, like, a group suicide, you know, with the family, something. Only the son was able to get, uh, like, you know, was not injured, but all the other. So I'm guessing that was true, wasn't it? Because, uh, you know, like, the, I think I remember Oluka kind of saying that my dad was plastered. My mom took my dad and put him in the you know back seat. He took me as well and then started driving. So was there something like that? You know, I'm not sure. Let me know if you have any other you know. But I think it was something like that. He she really was trying to kill every one of them, you know, the whole family. And Odukawa, you know, got the mental. What do you call it? The mental thing. Disorder. And now we see here uh, the taxi falling into the water. Now all the different characters see this in so many different ways. Uh, it was really interesting. Tanaka sees it as his phone, you know, his gacha phone falling into the uh, drain. Um, Eiji sees it as the ring that she threw. He threw away in the water. And um, I guess he never found the ring. I think so, you know, I feel like he never found the ring after that. Sakura sees that as uh, a piece of karage in the oil. Uh, Shiho sees it as soap in the bathtub. Rui sees it, as, sees it as the body, you know, that they disposed of. <laughs> and. Uh, what was his name? Um, what was his name? Shiba Shibagaki? I forgot his name. What the? Shibagaki, yeah. Shibagaki. Shibagaki. <laughs> he was like, like I don't want to be, like, you know, uh, uh, interrupted by a car. Like the whole, um, uh, you know, uh, Mansai comedy, the whole Sukkomi and the Bokeh. You know, like a person actually interrupts the other character. You know, like like a, as a bokeh and the no, not a bokeh, but a sukkomi and the bokeh usually kind of talks about some other things. <laughs> this whole thing, and he says that yeah, I don't want it to be. <laughs> you know, the the whole bokeh thing. I didn't want it to, it to be by uh, done by the car and like you know the whole thing. It's kind of funny, and yeah, and then like you know we actually get to see the whole thing. Like he starts seeing. You know the flashback, Odokawa's flashback, where he started to see everyone as animals. Now here's one thing. You know what? Um, I I'm kind of thinking, like, you know, like the reason why he started seeing himself as a walrus was because he liked a walrus. Uh, he liked walrus. He he really related to them in a way, and people called him walrus. That's why. <coughs> Excuse me. Now a few characters. It's kind of interesting to see. I'm guessing he kind of based a lot of characters uh, according to their facial structures. You know, for example, uh, you know, uh, Goriki, for example, he kind of looks like a gorilla, so he's a gorilla. Uh, and also, I think her, his name is also kind of like, you know, Goriki, you know, gorilla. So I think that's why he kind of, you know, started seeing his face as a gorilla, him as a gorilla. Um, another one is Kawasawa, you know. Kabasawa, Kaba in Japanese means hippo. So, you know, he, he's kind of like a short dude. So I'm guessing like an, as, an, as, as, at the same time, his name Kabasawa, it probably made him look at him as a hippo, something like that, you know? So I'm guessing it was the reason why he started seeing th these characters in particular different characters, like, you know, different animals is because of this and because of their like, you know their appearance and at the same time because of their names as well you know, different characters different uh, animals and most mostly because of their appearance because uh, we saw like all these characters really resembled you know their uh, animal forms that he was seeing so yeah okay one thing mm.
okay so that was that we also get to see that the guy the tapir you know who's the boss he was actually the one like i kind of knew that like we kind of realized that from previous episode that he was the one who was who kind of gave this all this orphans shelter you know? in, in a way that he kind of saved them same with uh Odokawa. so yeah okay and then again shirakawa comes to the rescue you know? <laughs> brings Odokawa up. Damn, Shirakawa is pretty, <laughs> what do you call it, like, you know, pretty badass. Like, even in the previous episode, she saved him, and now again. And, you know, they're in the hospital, in the car, in the ambulance, and it's the first time he actually sees all the different characters, and then we see all the different characters in their human face. It's kind of interesting to see them in this appearance, you know. And... Okay, one thing, uh, there were so many things happening at the same time, I wasn't able to properly pay attention here. What, like, the thing that was happening in the TV, okay, the news. Uh, yesterday, the MPD arrested Mr. K's member, Rui Nikaido, who they had been questioning in connection to the murder uh, of Mr. K's member, Yui Mitsuya-san. Okay, suspected of dumping body in sea after killing fellow group member at office agency. First of all, yeah this like you know that's why they shouldn't have actually hit it you know they should have went to the police at that moment but you know like yamamoto didn't want their idol career to go down so they took like and now it's completely destroyed in a way the idol career and he's even been suspected for something that she never did you know like killing mitsuya okay mr kiss manager fuyuki yamamoto uh Haruhito Yano, unemployed, and Togo Sekiguchi uh, were arrested for abandoning a body. Okay. Okay, Rui Nikaido is denying the charges. Okay, that was that. So that's what happened there. Hmm. And then we also see Imai, he gives him the money. Now, I, at this moment, I really thought he was going to buy a taxi or something, you know, because his taxi got completely dumped in the ocean. I'm guessing he was going to do some repairs on it. And, but I guess, you know what, like, it doesn't take so much money to buy a taxi. Like, that, that was a lot of money that Imai actually gave him, I think. So, and it was really nice to see, like, you know, Odokawa actually go and help, not help, but give this as a donation to help the, all the children in the orphanage. No, like this really is Odokawa. You know, he's like a, such a like, nice guy. And okay, one thing that they kind of showed. Wait a minute, Bono illumination. Uh, what? Which group is that? You know the the the. Uh, the the duo. Oh, it's someone else. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the other group. Okay. So wait a minute. So what happened to Homo sapiens? Did they show us? I don't know. I kind of, I probably missed it. They probably showed us what happened to them, but I missed it or something. Okay. Uh, then you know Odokawa goes back to the uh, tapir or the guy the boss and that, the thing that he says here is really correct you know like where he says that i'm sure you've done a lot of bad stuff but you saved a lot of people a lot of children as well so yeah i won't judge it for you that's not my job so just help the kids and then he goes back to his house and yeah there's the cat in his closet now you know what i realized actually here um i i really wasn't able to realize this but i realized this later on uh the thing Odaga was actually stressed about is like he saw everything as animals you know so in his brain he knew that there was a cat in his closet but then he thought I, i'm sure he probably thought that is that really a cat or like a human being I'm keeping because of his you know visual agnosia he was kind of like worried about that i feel 
so when he comes back home again and like you know he was he's kind of like you know hesitating and scared at that moment and then he like you know when the cat comes out he's relieved he's like oh my god thank god it's just a cat it's not some human that i was actually keeping so <laughs> i realized it actually later on because he his own visual you know thing probably scared him he thought that maybe i kept a <laughs> human with me or something uh Okay, so one thing, mm. okay, so the Bono emulation has a like a radio show now, and they're talking about, uh, they're talking about uh, Baba and Shivagaki. So I wonder what happened to them. Let me know in the comment section. I probably missed it. They probably showed us what happened to them. I I probably missed that. So, anyways, okay. Um, Oh boy, so here's the thing when it starts getting weird. Uh, Sakura is talking with the mom, I think. Mom, how are you? I transferred to a bigger agency. Things are going so well, it's almost scary. I, I really need to like, see this scene again. At first, I was hounded the manager. I hounded the manager after I failed an audi audition. Thinking about it now makes me laugh. I was frustrated though. Yeah, it went well. My God, and then they show us what happened. If they hadn't become famous after that, I think I would have, what? I would have been content. Oh, if they hadn't become famous after that, I think I would have been content. But when I heard that they've been releasing their first CD, I couldn't sit still anymore. Oh my God. So what he, she did basically was she failed went to the manager and asked him and the manager was like no like we have some better people here with us you know you you failed uh and so the thing was he the she probably started feeling uh jealous i think or something like that you know like wasted opportunity she felt when she realized that mystery kids are probably going to be become big later on so she was like you know what yeah, I was just one step, like, you know, behind. I was number four. So, yeah, let's just kill one of the characters, one of the uh, idols. And I'll be number three then. Then I'll be, I'll be getting, I'll be able to get in. That was her thought process. I got, and she took uh, her mom's advice a bit too literally. Do whatever you have to, to get the success. And basically did that, I guess. <sighs> Okay, uh, yeah, everything's going well. Now, the way she's talking here, I doubt the mom knows what's happening, you know? You know, she's kind of talking it in a symbolic way where it, the mom is probably thinking that, yeah, my daughter is doing so much, like, you know, like, is giving so much effort. But, <laughs> yeah, like, the daughter, what the daughter is actually doing behind the scenes, no one knows. And... Honestly, I wasn't expecting to lose someone else. Oh my god. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to lose someone else. But I get more attention because of that. She's talking about Mitsuya. I'm thinking about losing another and becoming... Oh my god. Yo, stop! What the... <laughs> this... This... Like... I thought Tanaka was crazy. This girl is even crazier than him. She's telling that I'm thinking about losing another and becoming a solo idol. That means she, like, obviously Nikaido won't be getting back again in the idol business. I doubt it. So she's thinking about murdering, um, uh, what was this, uh, what's her name? Shiho. And she wants to become a solo idol. Wow. What, I'm too greedy? No, nothing for now. All I headed, oh my god, all I headed out to do was find the taxi I rode in then. Wait a minute, does the mom know? I thought the mom doesn't know, he's talking in a way, I thought the mom probably didn't realize that. Maybe the mom actually knows that she's doing this. Because the way he's, she's talking here, it feels as if the mom knows. Like, you know, like she's saying that uh, I was trying to find out the taxi, taxi and I think I found it. Oh my god, yeah, I think the mom knows as well. 
This is like a thing that both of them are doing. The mom is probably giving them, giving him, uh, giving her, I don't know, moral support, I guess. <laughs> Messed up. Yeah, I think the mom also knows. Right. Okay, she says that I think I found it. It was a total coincidence. It might, I might be uh, lucky after all. Okay, here's, uh, okay. Here's, now that I'm seeing this scene again, uh, the Homo sapiens, I can see them now. The Azura Comedy Festival, they're you know, again together. Okay. I was thinking, like, did they show what happened to the Homo sapiens? And okay, there they are. Yeah. Like, <laughs> when the scene was actually happening, I was too, like, you know, I was so shocked. I didn't even, I wasn't able to register this scene. You know, that, that we can see Shibagaki and, um, let's forget the name, Baba. Them, you know, in the stage doing their manzai act. I, I wasn't able to <laughs> register that, and now I'm seeing it when I'm rewatching this scene again. Oh, and, okay. She says that I'll tell about you about it later. Don't worry, it'll go well again. Okay. Uh, we see uh, uh, Tanaka uh, deleting the zoo then from his form, and I'm guessing he's fine now. You know. Okay, okay, don't worry, it'll all go well over the end of the year. And then she, she says that actually, I'll tell you about it later. Uh, yeah, will you make fried chicken again for me sometime? Okay, I can also see that Kawasawa is trying to find some job or something. Like you said, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make my dream true. And the AG is also doing his job. Lobu is behind bars. And Goriki, Shirakawa, all of them. And Kabas, uh, Odokawa. Oh my god. <sighs> the music stops. Sakura opens the car door, gets in. And she's like, Oh god. she's smiling what was that ending like i don't know how what to feel about this like what the hell i just wanted the happy ending for odukawa i feel like he's going to kill the next scene or something like that that's what's probably going to happen what no 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 i really wanted a happy ending for odukawa they they really ended it in a <laughs> in a shocking manner what the hell oh my god I, I don't think this is going to have a sequel. I doubt that, you know. So, will this have, I don't think this is going to have any sequel. Yeah, this is an anime original, isn't it? Or, yeah, I think this is an anime original. Wow, that ending. Like, like there's like the two most shocking things about this episode. The first thing about getting to know that he has visual agnosia, that whole thing, that everything that we've been seeing was through Odokawa's point of view. And all of them were actually humans. And the next thing, the next shocking thing is that realizing that Sakura killed them. And now he's, she's trying to kill Odokawa. And not only Odokawa, and Shiho as well. And the way they ended it there, yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let me know what you felt like you know how you felt about that ending the anime is fantastic I loved it so much but the ending it, it makes me concerned you know that's what it does like I really would have loved if <laughs> they actually gave us a conclusion instead of like leaving it like that but you know like yeah i feel as if this probably won't end well for odokawa oh boy it's kind of brilliant the way they actually did it you know like the ending was so happy and when we actually listen to sakura talking like you know like a happy beat was going on and then she we suddenly see her strangling mitsuya then that's when like oh god it actually hits that yeah this girl is crazy
now he's going trying to go for Odokawa. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to you know Odokawa, how it's going to end, but this is it. Hopefully, I don't know how, but hopefully Odokawa gets out of that situation. You know, I'm sure that uh, Sakura would probably try to strangle him, and that's like, you know, like she probably has some kind of rope or something. And he, she, I, I'm sure he, she'll probably try to strangle him. Like when Odokawa asked her that, "Where do you want to go?" She's just smiling like a like a like a psychopath. And I'm sure, like, like you know, like, and then that's when they ended the the scene, you know, the episode. I'm sure after that, you know, like behind the camera, um, <laughs> Sakura pulls out a rope and strangles Odokawa. Probably something like that is going to happen because I don't trust that girl. Like, what the hell, like? She's 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 happily talking about killing someone, and then she says that yeah, like I found the taxi, you know. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the in a way it's kind of like a brilliant way they ended it. Like that was like a very like even though it was probably Odoka won't get his happy ending, the anime itself the ending was brilliant it it was just so good <clears throat> okay one thing okay no i was kind of seeing what she was talking about the taxi i was, I was kind of thinking like was she saying that she is trying to find the taxi or she has found it but uh, yeah i'm seeing that scene again and she says that i found it yeah, all I headed out to do was find the taxi I rode in then. I think I found it. Yeah, that's what she says. I think I found it. So yeah, she, she actually realized that it was actually Odokawa. No, wait, one thing. You know what? I'm, I'm, you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to find out like what has happened and I'm really trying to find out any kind of loophole where probably a better ending is waiting for Odokawa. I'm kind of watching that scene again and one thing I actually realized is like that she said like she tells about murdering Shiho. That's what she says that I'm, I'm going to lose one you know and I'll try to become a solo you know by killing Shiho most probably and that's what she said and then she says that all I headed out to do was find the taxi I rode in then I think I found it. It was a total coincidence. I must be lucky after all. Everything's going my way. I'll tell you about it later. Don't worry, it'll go well again. She doesn't really say here that she's going to kill Odokawa. She just says that I found it. But the way she's saying it really feels as if she's, she's going to kill him or something. So, you know, like... I don't know. I like. I'm really trying to find out some kind of loophole where, you know, like where it probably will be something else. Like instead of killing Odokawa, maybe she. I don't know. Kidnaps him. I doubt that's going to happen. Yeah, I'm. I'm just trying to find something good. Yeah, she. She. She's crazy. She. Like you know, I. I doubt she's going to kidnap or do something else. She'll. She'll just straight up kill the character. That's what she's going to do. And another thing that she says here is that don't worry, it'll go well again. Yeah, that this line also probably implies that she's probably going to try to kill Odokawa. It'll go well again. That's what she says, you know, again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's it, guys. I'm very conflicted in my opinion especially the ending I'm so very conflicted most probably because I became too attached to Odokawa that's probably the reason why you know? like if like, you know if Odokawa was just like a, a character who was just you know like the main protagonist and nothing else you know I probably would have been I, I probably would have said something like wow this is just so great like the way they ended it and the way they kind of revealed it in the end you know it's so amazing and it's just so good 
and i would and i i still like you know i admit that that this is one of the best ways a uh, anime can be made and it has been executed beautifully it's just amazing brilliant this is but since i am as i said like you know i'm a little bit too much much attached to odokawa i got a bit too much attached to him you know and i really wanted the best for him by the end i really wanted like you know like i didn't want him to become like some like you know and get some kind of uh like happy like amazing happy ending like you know i didn't want anything like that i just wanted him by the end of it to live a normal happy life that's just what i wanted him yeah. and it seemed as if it was going in that direction but then suddenly like the end like bam the ending happens and that's why i'm saying i'm a little bit conflicted because i got a bit too attached to odogawa that's probably the main thing here <laughs> so yeah but this anime is fantastic it was done so well like you know like talking about it without any extra bias towards odokawa like you know if i if i put odokawa aside and talk about this anime in general in whole fantastic the way it was done it never really made us realize what's happening you know so many mysteries one after the other like the whole show was filled with mysteries like like you know every episode felt like they were kind of like you know they they gave us a tangled ball of yarn and then each and every episode there was kind of untangling it one by one by one and it like, gave us as audience also it gave us uh, time to make guesses you know and it started playing out like that and then in the ending episode they completely untangle the whole yarn and show us what's happening and it's just executed so beautifully they never really made us realize what's happening you know until the end and it was done so well and the execution was perfect and then especially the last section where the whole tone of the story completely twists around as soon as sakura talks starts talking in her mobile phone with his mom with her mom it completely twists around the whole tone of the story and it just ends in an abrupt what can i say suspenseful um, way which is just brilliant you know just perfect so this is definitely a like what can i say like if i had to rate this anime i would probably give it 9.5 uh not 9.5 9.25 or something like that you know? close to 9.5 very close to 9.5 it's just so so well done this is probably like this is like a hidden gem you know and i remember like you know i like i usually check out all the anime seasonal animes like you know the the animes that i'm reacting to that i you know on screen that i i react to them obviously you know but other than that all the other cinema seasonal animes i can't even watch it on my own so obviously i would have watched this on my own but i i think someone actually told me to react to this on my channel and you know like even though even if i wouldn't have reacted to this as I, i would probably have checked it out on my own but like you know i'm really glad that i actually reacted to this on my channel this is one of those phenomenal animes that i probably wouldn't never have reacted to and probably would have checked out on my own if that one person who like you know didn't tell me to actually react to it you know so like like you know i'm uh, like the, the one the guy or someone you know commented in the comment section like you know the person told me to like react to it and check it out and and my like you know and i i had time and that's why i thought that okay why not i give it this a reaction and yeah like thanks a lot you know because this is probably i would have probably regretted if i like you know actually watched this on my own and not reacted to this so i would have regretted it you know like i i'm glad that this is like you know as a reaction this is on my channel because the main thing about reaction that i love is you know like actually me actually talking about the anime or the all the episodes that's why i make these discussion sections you know where i actually talk about the episode how i felt about it what i feel like it's going to happen my impressions you know that's the main thing that i love about reacting to animes like my opinion my thing i want to like you know kind of 
give like you know like like let everyone know about it and like all the other characters like, you know people might also like you know comment on that i love that i love discussing about anime like that's the main thing about reaction for me that's the main point so this is a show that is perfect for that you know that type of a reaction like you know discussion thing and that's why i would have probably regretted it if i never reacted to this and i just like watched it on my own i would have regretted it a lot Thanks a lot for actually recommended this, recommending this to me to actually reacting to this on my channel. So yeah, that was great, like fantastic show. My God, okay, all right. I'm talking for quite a long while. So yeah, that was it, guys. That was a fantastic ending. And as I said, like you know, if I was not so, <laughs> I'm a bit too attached to Odokawa. So something happening to Odokawa that 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 what can I say that. That feeling of like you know something probably happened to Odokawa after this. That feeling was kind of making me nervous, but you know like yeah, I I'm I'm glad that this show ended in this unique way, and it not ended in this unique way, but it it was such a unique show. Oh wait a minute, this does have a manga. I thought this was a uh, anime original. No, this has a manga. Is it still ongoing? I might check it out then. Oh, it's still ongoing, I think. I'm not sure. But if it's still ongoing, I'll definitely check this out. The manga. Uh, wait, the manga is very unpopular, I think. What the hell? I'm checking my anime list and the manga is like... What? Why? The anime is so popular, I, I, I can see it. No, at least in the rankings. I don't know. I I I, I might check the manga out. I'll I'll ch definitely check the manga out later on. I really want to see what happens to Odokawa after this. No, I I won't be able to sleep otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely go and check the manga out if 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 it has some kind of continuation after this or something. So yeah, so fantastic. I love that. Anyways, um, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to the final episode of uh, Off Taxi episode number uh. 13 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to know uh your opinions about this anime you know whatever you felt like you know like you know like i definitely want to listen to your guys's opinion about this anime such a good show and yeah so be sure to comment down below as well so that's it guys okay so uh obviously this has ended i'll be replacing this with another anime um i'll be making a community post later on and talk like you know i, I kind of say there what animals i'm going to react to the next season you know like fall 2021 i think yeah in fall 2021 which animals which seasonal animals i'm going to react to which other animals i'm going to watch i'm going to talk about it here i'll probably make the community post within two or three days so if you're interested in my future anime reactions be sure to check that out when i post that you know so that's it guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day